talk about your experiences with Final Fantasy VII Remake. What are you feeling about the game? How long do you play it for? You know, I know. played about, I want to say about five, six hours mm. in the game. Mm. And I'm shocked because I've done a full on 360 from where I started. I love this thing, bro. Uh, it's mad, bro. Yeah. It's mad because I played <clears throat> Final Fantasy VII so long ago that I don't actually, I don't really remember the whole story. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? That like, like, so much of it, I just don't remember 100%. Get mm -hmm. me? And it, it reminds me of, bro, because when I first got into that, I don't want to say gaming, but when it was like on PS1, isn't it? Yeah. We, played, we played it on PS1 and it's mad because I think I got it from you, right? Mm -hmm. You gave it to me. I played it and I was like, bro, this game is sick. I always loved Final Fantasy VIII more because I played Final Fantasy VIII first. Mm -hmm. And then it was like, oh, I went back to Final Fantasy VII. If you don't know, I'm a graphics whore. A graphics whore. Yes. Get me. So then it was like, that kind of put me off. But the game was still good. It was still Final Fantasy. And I went with it. But maybe I'd never even finished it because I don't even remember. I definitely didn't. So, like I said, I can't really remember what happens with the rest of the story. But putting this game in here yeah, and playing it, bruv, the graphics, I'm, like, it is... This is this is just feeds into my argument of yo, don't remaster games, remake games, fam. Mm. This game, it looks sick, bruv. When I picked up my first piece of material, yeah, I was like, oh yeah, bruv. You plug these into the sword, you level them up, you got bruv! Like, that's real up. And, and do you know what? It pisses me off because I was like, all the games these days are like, oh yeah, RPG elements, RP. No, you're not doing it, bruv. No, you're, you're not, not doing not. real things. You're just what you're just adding get stuff into your game to make people waste time. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. This game, or I don't want, I don't know about this game because I haven't leveled up all the way. Yeah. But if it's the same way as it was in the other game, it's it's done it for me, bro. I'm mm. in. And then I was like, raw, this game's full price, yeah? And they're saying it's about 40 to 45 hours. Mm. Then I was like, raw. So if they release the other two games, are they going to be full price and about the same? And I was like, yeah. And then I realized I would buy all three, mm. full price. Mm -hmm. Because it makes sense, bruv. A regular game these days, 40 quid or whatever. Bruv, 40 hours and it's good. If they released three Batman Arkham games, I'd pay all of them. Same engine, same everything, same whatever, full price. I would do it for this as well, fam. Mm. I would do it for this, bruv. I love it, bruv. I think it's sick. And I'm not even deep in the game yet, bruv. I'm not even deep in the game. So I am all about this new Final Fantasy. I think it's sick, bruv. I think it's sick. Right. Combat system. I was about to say, can you talk to us about the combat? Because obviously back in the day we had Final Fantasy, your enemies were over here, you stand over here, and there would just be like a timer, and then you'd pick characters to attack, and I could kind of tell the strategy has now changed. So they've gone from action RPG with the strategic elements, or break it down for us. Bro, it's not, do you know what they've done here? They have just 2020'd it, bro. And before, what they did was, and this is one of the reasons I stopped playing Final Fantasy, because they just changed their battle structure to the same as Kingdom Hearts, where it's like, uh, you run, you jump, you, can, you do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want at all. And I didn't like that. One of the things I liked about Final Fantasy was that it was slow, strategical, planned, methodical. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? But what they've done here is taken both of those things and mashed it together perfectly. Right. But, bruv, you still have your ATB bar, yeah? Yeah. But, and that only goes up through like taking damage or giving out damage. Right. So there's that part of it. But where the party's involved, it's like, oh, I can do some hits with Cloud, mm -hmm. but oh man, my, my bar's not filled up yet for me to do a magic attack, use an item or anything like that. So I'll switch to another character who's AT bar, bar is up, yeah. use theirs, go back to Cloud. His is up now because he's still active when I'm not playing as him, yeah. then use his bruv. So... They've still got that mechanic is still there, fam. Mm. But you can also hack and slash and do that other stuff as well, bruv. So I feel mm. like they've peppered that into a way that I think for me, as someone who's like a old school RPG turn based purist, works for me, bruv. Because I was doing it, and I was like, this is sick, bruv. Mm. It's sick. It's sick. Uh, what about the story? Like, how far? Have, you said you only played like five hours. So yeah, bro, like, what did they land you? Is it like from the train station or like what did they do from there? So. Uh, 
Got to this train station. I don't want to talk about too many specifics just for right. anyone else who ain't played the game, but got to chapter three. Basically, you meet a couple of new crew members. They kind of de- uh, dig you deeper into materia and stuff like that, upgrading your weapons, the new like leveling system and all of that stuff. And I just think it's sick, man. Um, I'm just going to continue. I'm going to continue. I was actually playing on a burner. So what I'm going to do is maybe next week or even this week, I'm going to start again on my account and I'm going to run, going to run the thing, man. I'm, okay. I'm actually super excited to play it, bro, because I just want to level up. I want to, f- obviously I'm not going to finish the story because there's still two other games, mm. but I'm, re- I'm actually ready for it. I feel like this was the Final Fantasy game that I needed, yeah. that I needed to bring me back. And I need you guys to remaster, to remake Final Fantasy VIII. Please. Oh my gosh. That and ten. Let's not even talk about ten, because <laughs> Blitzball should be its own game. <laughs> its own game. You see this? What's this? What's that game that everyone plays, bro? What, FIFA? Rocket League. Oh, my bad. <laughs> everyone plays Rocket League. Yeah. Make Blitzball. Mad. Can you imagine, bro? Rocket League's free to play. Yeah. yeah. Release. Uh, Blitzball free, free to play. Free to play. Put in microtransactions. Fam, you d- listen, listen. Money to be made. It's there. It's there. Blitzball oh, yeah. is the sickest game. I'm, it's the sickest mini game I've ever played in a game. In fact, now that you're saying that, do you think this is because I remember there are mini games in this. I don't think there's the magic saucer in this game. Yeah. Anyway, but then they had that like, mini games in this where you go to like a chocobo race or whatever have you. Do you think if they remake number eight? It will make the card game its own thing then. The card game was sick. Exactly. I forgot about the card game. Yes. Of course it's called. And it's not Gwent, because that's the ritual. But yeah, if they made the card game for Final Fantasy VIII, you think it again. I, I, I just feel like with the way they make Final Fantasy games, you can have it in a game, but you should just be releasing these these mini games as free for normal people. Like, bruv, do you not know how many people on their phone, on a train, yeah. when we get back to getting on trains... Will be onto the team. Mad. I would actually play that. No, nah, I think it'll be super legit, That'd be bro. Pretty sick. That'd be pretty sick. But yeah, man. Final Fantasy Seven. And what, from what you've seen, what what do you think? From what I've seen, yeah, like it feels you could tell that the people who have made this have just taken what they really wanted back into the game mm-hmm. and made it with just like the most fan fantasy love. It's almost like they've got like literally, you know, when a fan project that mm-hmm. like, they just get people who just love the game. Like, oh, what do you like about? Final Fantasy back in the day, they got those guys and made this game. You can just kind of tell, like you're saying, oh, we don't want it to be like Kingdom Hearts. We don't want it too much like uh, Final Fantasy um, 15, but we also want it to be like classic Final Fantasy 7. They got all of that put into the game. The graphics are mad. Like, I don't think before you could see material in your sword, but now you can. Those kind of levels of detail is mad because I, is it last night or the night before I watched Advent Children? That animation is still mad, you know? Mm. And it's just the way that they would melt the material into their arms and stuff. Obviously, that's not in the game, but you could tell that they've just gone back through the Final Fantasy lore and made sure this is made with the most attention, the most love. And it makes me want them to make Crisis. Did you play Crisis Core? No. Just to make Crisis Core again, remake. They've done seven, make all the parts you need, and then do an average children game. Boom. What I was gonna say is in the in the old game you can see the material in the sword, but oh, obviously it's like a it. it's just like a square dot. Ah. Do you get what I'm saying? That is sick. But obviously, do you know what? I actually done this accidentally, guys. If you go over to my YouTube channel, <laughs> I've actually got a video of me playing the first forty minutes of chapter two. Get me? So you can check that out on my YouTube channel as well. Hey, hey, <laughs> plug, plug, plug. No, I did it by accident though. <laughs> I actually just made the video and put it out a couple of days ago. But you guys can check it out accident. there. But um, yeah, I think it's sick. I think I was gonna say something else about Final Fantasy. But oh, the graphics, yeah, mm. bruv. Seamless gameplay into cutscenes, bro. It's mad. It is. Oh, it's so beautiful. The game. And there's one thing that I was worried about. Obviously, because it's dubbed, yeah? Mm. I was like, oh, it might be a bit... <laughs> they they peppered it so perfectly, bro. Mm. You could not tell, like, this game was, like, made natively for Japanese, bro. Mm. Fam, the, the sound... Um, the sound design, well, the voice acting... Mad. All bangs. All bangs, bro. Check the gameplay out on the channel. You'll see it. It bangs. Jeez. 100%. All right, there you guys have it. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake uh, impressions. Guys, if you got any comments, questions about Final Fantasy, make sure you drop in your super chats. We'll be answering them if we can. Please, no spoilers. 
you finished it or gone too far. First five, ten hours, maybe. We'll see about that. So